Hi, I'm Chloe and I'm going to talk to you about ways to help manage your cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is fat that is found in our blood and is naturally produced in the liver. Our bodies need a certain amount of cholesterol to stay healthy with normal functioning of cells to help make certain hormones and vitamin D and also bile acids which help to digest and absorb dietary fat. Our blood carries cholesterol around our body on proteins called lipoproteins and there are two main types. So let's take a look at each. High density lipoproteins, also known as HDL cholesterol, takes cholesterol that our body doesn't need back to the liver to be broken down and removed out of the body. HDL cholesterol is therefore often referred to as the good cholesterol. Low density lipoproteins, also known as LDL cholesterol, takes cholesterol from the liver to the cells around the body, which can cause a buildup of cholesterol in our arteries. When you have too much cholesterol in the blood, that excess cholesterol will build up in the walls of our arteries, forming fatty deposits called plaque. Plaque contains fats, cholesterols, calcium deposits, and other substances from our blood. And so when plaque starts to build up, they can narrow our arteries, limiting the flow of blood and leads to the thickening or hardening of the arteries. If a plaque ruptures, a blood clot can form, which can increase our risk of developing cardiovascular disease, also known as CVD, and its complications, such as having a heart attack or stroke. LDL cholesterol is therefore often referred to as the bad cholesterol. So, the targets we would like to aim for are below 4 millimoles per litre for total cholesterol, 1 millimole per litre for a male and 1.2 millimoles per litre for a female for HDL cholesterol and below 3 millimoles per litre for LDL cholesterol. It is also good to know that there is another type of fat found in our blood called triglycerides which can also increase our risk of cardiovascular disease. A healthy fasting triglyceride level is below 1.7 millimoles per litre. So, how do we reduce our cholesterol levels? There are four key factors that play a role in causing high cholesterol levels, which are having a diet high in saturated fat, being physically inactive, smoking, and carrying excess weight. We will now break these down further, starting with diet. A few small changes can help to make a really big difference in our cholesterol levels. And so it's important to know the difference in fats to help you do so. Firstly, there is the saturated fats, such as full fat dairy products like butter, cream, ghee and lard, fatty cuts of meat and meat products like sausages, pies and pasties, any processed foods like cakes, biscuits and pastries, and also coconut and palm oils. And then we have the healthier unsaturated fats, which include things like oily fish, olive, rapeseed, sunflower, soya, and corn oils and spreads flax, pumpkin and sesame seeds, avocados and finally nuts such as walnuts, almonds, cashews and hazelnuts. So overall we should all aim to follow a healthy balanced diet, limiting foods that are high in saturated fat and instead replacing them with foods containing the unsaturated healthier fats, such as oily fish, avocados, nuts and seeds. 
Examples of oily fish include salmon, mackerel, sardines and herring. And we should all aim to eat two portions of fish per week, with one being oily fish. Oily fish is a really great source of omega-3, which is another type of fat and has been shown to be beneficial for our heart health and management of cardiovascular disease. If you are looking for a vegetarian or vegan source of the omega-3 fats, then you could have things like walnuts, linseeds or chia seeds, or rapeseed or flaxseed oil. Fruits and vegetables are really low in fat and calories, but are high in fibre, so may help to manage your weight and are also really rich in vitamins and minerals. Increasing your fibre intake, ideally aiming for 30 grams of fibre per day by including whole grain sources of carbohydrate, such as brown or wholemeal bread, fruits, vegetables, pulses, nuts and seeds as well, will also help to improve your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart disease. Plant stanols and sterols can also help to lower your cholesterol levels. Plant stanols and sterols are substances that are naturally found in small amounts in fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. We would encourage you to eat 1.5 grams of plant stanols or sterols a day to see a reduction in cholesterol levels. You can also achieve this intake from many supermarket products, for example, found in one Benico yogurt drink, or two to three servings of Benico yogurt or spread, one mini drink of Flora Proactive, or three servings of Flora Proactive spread and 250 ml of Flora Proactive milk. Food labels are a really great way of identifying healthier food options. You should choose foods with the green or amber coloured labels for saturates, as that product will contain a lower amount of saturated fat compared to a product with the red coloured label. Now we will look at activity. It is really important to be physically active, whether this be going to a gym, doing some chair exercises, or even just walking up and down the kitchen while the kettle boils. It all makes a difference. Exercising regularly can not only help improve your cholesterol levels and further protect against cardiovascular disease, but will also bring other benefits, such as reduce blood pressure and weight management. Smoking. Smoking can raise the LDL, or bad cholesterol, in our blood and decrease the HDL, or good cholesterol. This increase in LDL cholesterol can lead to the build-up of plaque in your arteries, causing them to become narrower and increasing risk for cardiovascular disease. We would therefore encourage you to stop smoking and you can seek further advice from your GP or local stop smoking programme. Finally, we will look at body weight. Carrying excess weight and body fat, mainly around your middle, also plays a role in increasing your cholesterol levels. We would encourage you to stay within a healthy weight range for your height, which would be 18.5 to 24.9 kilograms per meter squared if you are from a European background, or 18.5 to 22.9 kilograms per meter squared if you are from a South Asian background, as your body mass index, also known as BMI. You can refer to our other videos for further information on some of the topics I have mentioned, such as understanding food labels, the importance of activity, and how diet can help manage type 2 diabetes. So, in summary, some top tips for reducing your cholesterol levels. Review your diet and try to swap foods containing saturated fats, like full-fat dairy products, 
fatty meats and processed foods to those with unsaturated fats like oily fish, olive oil, avocados, nuts and seeds. Begin to read food labels and choose food products with more green coloured labels and limit any with the red colour. Increase your fibre intake, aiming to include more whole grains, fruits, vegetables, pulses, nuts and seeds. Become more physically active by reducing any sedentary activity. And finally, seek help to stop smoking. If you would like some recipe ideas on how to help reduce your cholesterol levels further, you can take a look at Heart UK with their quick and easy, healthy low cholesterol recipes and also BBC Good Food with their cholesterol friendly recipes. Thank you. Thank you.